Hey guys, welcome back to Cheesy Crabs. <laughs> Babe, stop! He is on his way out of the house trying to pick up newspaper and he's talking smack on his way, <laughs> on his way in to, because we're going to need newspaper for this project. Oh, Anyways, you guys have seen this box before. I've showed it in a haul video. Inside, I've been slowly getting things that I'm going to need for the project and I ended up picking up two colors this is champagne pink champagne, champagne. babe stop talking smack <laughs> and then this one is ocean mist um they're both by rostolium and i'm thinking that i'm gonna use this one instead um because the pink I don't know we'll use it for another project this pink doesn't seem to go with this with the box pink and inside we have some bolts I have Balan told my husband that he was gonna help me with this project so we have four bolts and eight nuts and eight of these little washers and then I have obviously mark um copic marker for example and then we went to home depot and we picked up this panel it's a light panel i don't know how big it is how big is this i do not know no, but four feet by two feet mike is gonna cut it and we're gonna show you what works what doesn't work it's big enough so if you make mistakes you'll have extra you know, <laughs> cutting out big sections, won't be able to make too many mistakes. Yeah, so anyway, so we're going to start by painting the bolts, and we'll um, show you how we do that. Okay. So our dog's going crazy, don't mind him, but here's Mike <laughs> sitting on our back, what is this called, back area, backyard, um, just laying the stuff out. To paint. <laughs> Street High, we did this on the mean streets of East Sparta, Ohio. <laughs> Can't even open the can. <laughs> I didn't spray paint very much, as you're about to tell her, you can be like, wow, that's a lot of spray paint. Yeah, don't do it. Do light coats, honey, please. I already know that's not going to happen. Well, even if we have to come back. So all I'm going to do is use Anna's lucky preemptive cut and start moving it along down through here. Right here. Right? Is that how you did, right? Yeah. Well, I went underneath because I didn't want to damage our table. Well, I'll lift it up. I'll lift it up. So he's just cutting straight down with regular Mark, wire marker. cutters. Yeah. And the pl it's plastic, so it's very easy to break. And if you guys hear our lawnmower, that's our son trying to earn a buck here cutting grass. So don't mind the noise. We're gonna probably speed through this. I think I still need to go further. Why don't you just mark it with a little marker? I don't need to. I just check your moment. Babe, listen to instructions. <laughs> you, hey, you said, I'm going to film you doing this. So I implied it was my ideas behind it. So, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, so. It's right there. Perfect. Maybe one more? No, that's good. No, we're gonna go one more. Unless you wanted to Yeah, one more because then you're gonna have to cover here, right? On the okay. edge of this one. You see, do you want me to go up one more? Yeah, I'll go up one more. Okay. shorter we can cut shorter it's not a problem it should be pretty close to fitting as it but is but remember we're gonna need two panels 
So you're gonna have to cut. You got the. What you're gonna have to do is close that back door soon if you want them to keep on hearing us. Yeah. All right. So we took the measurements out and cut this. We cut this to size. It was just a little bit of excess, which is fine. As as you know, in the rule of life, you can have a little bit of extra. So you just cut a little bit away. And we dialed it in a little bit, cutting a little bit more, like one, I think one or two times. And once we did that, sets it right in there, drops right into place, right to my wife's liking. So <laughs> what we're gonna do- Make sure you make that notation, right? All right, correct. So now what we'll do here is we'll, uh, we can just take like this, Right here like this, just overlap it and use this. Because we need two panels so that yeah, well, yeah, so one be, of the panels will hold them straight, right? Yeah, it all makes sense when it's together. But yeah, we'll just use this as a means of basically cutting out this part right here and then we'll kind of just dial it in the same exact way. I don't have that many markers, but technically I could have like twice, huh? Like do this project two times over. Because I have enough with that one panel. And that one panel was $12 at Home Depot. And like I'm, I think I have enough for two. Yeah, you should, yeah, you would definitely have enough for two. I mean, so two I mean, boxes, maybe, but my collection is not that big. Maybe, maybe even three, depending on the measurements. I think yeah. it's possible actually you have three out one thing. So. At least using your concept. All right, so that's all, all, right. We're, all we're gonna do. Use this as a guideline and start cutting again. bolt the washer and the nut in all four corners now I'm gonna lay it sideways and I'm gonna slide them a little bit and then go ahead and put your washer and then put your nut and you're just gonna let it come in as, as long as it's flush you see how it's barely there it's just enough for the bolt to be flush to the nut that's kind of what you want um you guys get the concept uh, if i could get it in there okay just enough there it's flushed and now we can move on to the final one and don't mind our mess we have over here just enough to be flush and now you're going to carefully flip it over remember it's plastic and it's breakable so you're going to put it inside your box make sure it fits yeah make sure it fits and that is going to complete our project let me see because the other one yeah the that one's not going to be used because of the nuts, so... Okay, you guys, so we have completed our project, and don't mind my husband over there. Say hi, honey. <laughs> he, of course, um, helped me put this together and work on the project, but this is the final result. I don't have a lot of markers. Well, I have a lot, but not that many and as you can see there's like tons of room for growing um, and there's what the bolts look like and 
like I said, once I get the little Copic chart, it'll go right here or I'm just maybe tuck it inside so I know which ones I have. And you close the box and it's got a handle on the side, on each side. And you could just use it as a pretty decoration for your craft room. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. And that's easy to make. Hope you enjoy. Bye.